We all know that smoking is injurious to health but we know less about its withdrawal and its benefits. Once we understand how can we cope up with withdrawal symptoms we may be able to motivate ourselves to do it. Burning cigarette contains more than 7,000 harmful chemicals of which 43 known as cancer-causing compounds among them some of the most dangerous component are tar, carbon monoxide, benzene, cadmium, ammonia, arsenic, butane, hexamine, paint, methanol etc. So, the question is what happens to your body after you quit smoking? The benefits are almost instant, as soon as a person stops smoking their body begins to recover in the following ways, after 20 minutes, when smoke, nicotine stimulates production of adrenaline in brain and it raises the blood pressure. Also, epinephrine and norepinephrine present in nicotine increase heart rate and narrowing blood vessels. This reduces blood flow to extremities of our body, that's why we feel colder in feet and hand. Just 20 minutes after stop smoking blood pressure and pulse rate return to normal and circulation may start to improve. The temperature of hands and feet should start warm up to their normal temperature. After 4 hours, nicotine withdrawal symptoms typically start around this time frame due to decrease in dopamine in the brain which is released by the effect of nicotine. So we feel intense cravings for smoking, anxiety, depression, and headaches. Some people also face moodiness, drowsiness, and difficult to sleep. After 8 hours carbon monoxide from burning cigarette enters into the blood and combines with hemoglobin present in red blood cells this process blocking the blood's ability to carry oxygen to body cells. That causes problems from your muscles to your brain because they don't get the oxygen they need. In just 8 hours after quit smoking nicotine and carbon monoxide levels in the blood begins to decrease and blood oxygen levels will have increased to normal. After one day coughing increases as the body clears out toxins as mucus, debris and other gunk from the lungs. In this time frame a person's blood pressure begins to drop and the risk of heart attack from smoking will rapidly drop. The normal oxygen levels of body will have risen. After two days this is also about the time when the toughest withdrawal symptoms show up. Smokers might feel anxious, depressed, tired or might get headaches. Smoking damages the nerve endings responsible for the senses of smell and taste. Some of those taste buds damaged permanently by tar and chemicals, present in smoking. Just after two days of not smoke damaged nerve endings begin to regrow and start regain their sensitivity. This means that sense of smell and taste will begin to increase. Although some of the damage caused by smoking is irreversible, smokers' lungs start begun to repair and bronchial tubes begin to relax and energy levels increase after three days. Lungs will be more relaxed so breathing may feel less labored than before. Carbon monoxide, nicotine, and its metabolites are completely eliminated from the body during this time. After two to four weeks more than 70% of smokers who decide to quit will experience nicotine cravings and increased appetite in this time frame. According to the American Heart Association after two to three weeks of quiet smoking, smokers' lung capacity and performance will begin to regenerate and blood circulation also improve. After one to nine months after one month, smoker lungs dramatically begin to repair themselves. Coughs, wheezing, and breathing problems improve as lung function increases by up to 10%. Damaged hair-like structures cilia regrow in lungs and reducing the risk of infections by pushing out mucus, germ, and other gunk of the lungs. Risk of developing type 2 diabetes, cancer, and cardiovascular diseases has decreased significantly in this time frame. After one year risk of developing heart disease as a result of deposits of fatty materials or scar tissue decreases by almost 50%. After five years you might have forgot that you used to smoke but your body remembers and is still recovering from its effects. Cigarettes contain many known toxins that cause increased plaque builds up in arteries and blood vessels to narrow the path of blood flow. After five years of quiet smoking, the body remove the plaque from the arteries and blood vessels to begin to widen again that means lowering the risk of stroke. The risk of stroke will continue to reduce over the next 10 years as the body remove more plaque from the arteries and blood vessels. After 10 years nearly 90% of all lung cancer related deaths are a result of smoking traditional cigarettes.
but after 10 years of quiet smoking, risk of developing lung cancer and dying from it are half compared with a smoker. Risk of cancer of the mouth, throat, and esophagus or bladder is half that of a smoker's. After 15 years after 15 years of not smoking, chances of developing coronary heart disease is the same as a person who has never smoked in their life. Similarly, the risk of developing pancreatic cancer has reduced to as a non-smoker. After 20 years, the risk of death from smoking-related causes, including both lung disease and cancer, drops to the level as a non-smoker. If you want to download this ebook, then download it from the free link, which is given below in the description. At the end a little request to you, if you like this video please share with your friends.